In this episode, I'm going to talk about the real-time detection autofocus system. Welcome to Lumix Academy. In this episode, I'm going to cover the changes made to the detection AF, the tracking AF, and the one area or one area plus AF. This new real-time detection autofocus system has better detection, better recognition, better tracking, and better prediction of subject movement around the frame. These improvements are made because it has more images and more data to calculate. And inside the body, it's also faster processing all this data. This sounds really interesting, but of course, let's have a look what it means in a very practical way. And let's go outside and have a look at these new features and how they work. So I have here the Lumix S1 updated and all, and I've actually attached an Atomos a uh, Ninja recorder to it so we can actually see what the camera is seeing. If you press the AF mode button at the back of the camera, you go directly to the autofocus selection menu. Here you can see at the far left side the human detect AF mode. If you are going to film animals, you can here select animal detection on or off by pressing up or just on the screen. The improvements in this mode mean the camera can keep track of my face or eyes and also further away. Also when you tilt your head, it will still focus on my eyes. When you turn around and the camera does not see my eyes, it will understand it needs to track the head and also moving around the frame or out of center will be smooth and accurate. Even when you walk out of the frame and then re-enter into the scene, the real-time detection AF will spot you and track you as the main subject. So I really like this mode for very dynamic scenes where you as an operator want to really control the camera, maybe moving it around or walking behind somebody while the camera does all the focusing for you. Very handy to focus on other stuff that's also important in creating the film. Tracking mode. You select this mode on the back of the camera as shown before. This mode is great if you have subjects with a distinctive color or shape so the camera recognizes it and keeps track of the item moving around the scene. Before recording, you can select the subject on your screen. You will see it will lock on in yellow, and when the subject is moving, it will keep tracking it. As reading speed of the image and processing are now faster, this mode is now more accurate, predicts the movement and reacts faster. Photographers and filmmakers really like the One Area AF or One Area AF+. Plus. The difference between these two are very small. I mean, essentially, One Area Plus looks also around the One Area, whereas One Area is just that One Area spot. Um, the one thing that's really now new is that you can select face detection around this One Area. So as soon as you point your One Area on a face, it will keep tracking the face and it will make sure the eye is focused and not just the One Area. This one area AF mode is of course also really nice if you're an animal or wildlife photographer or a filmmaker, where you in a way really want to use your one area AF focusing on an animal and then automatically it will recognize, oh, this is a bird, we'll keep track of it for you. So this is the new real-time detection autofocus system available in Lumix S system cameras. Make sure you subscribe to the YouTube channel to not miss any other new updates, but also get more tips and insights of how to master your camera the best way. Thank you for watching this episode and I hope to see you next time again. Panasonic.